With over 300 arcade and pinball machines in the Strong's collection, there is a huge variety of different technologies powering them. From electromechanical games, to games with no microprocessor, to much newer high-definition displays powered by high-performance PCs. While Nutting Associates arcade game Computer Space is perhaps the company's best-known title, preserving an earlier coin-operated game from the company has been a very different experience than most other games. Nutting Associates formed in 1966 after founder Bill Nutting acquired the patent for Edex Teaching Machines Knowledge Computer, a multiple-choice question-and-answer machine. Redesigned and re-released as Computer Quiz in 1967, the actual gameplay is fairly simple. A piece of trivia is displayed on the screen, allowing players to choose from five different answers, labeled A through E. Despite the title suggesting so, there is no computer involved, at least not how we understand them today with microprocessors. In fact, there isn't a traditional television either. Instead, a reel of film is used, with the question projected onto the front face of the machine. Film presents a host of preservation challenges, particularly when used in a game as it is with computer quiz. One challenge was how do we best preserve the original film? The next, how can we keep the game playable? And lastly, what can we do to best preserve the game long after any sort of film may be a viable option? Led by the Strong's conservator Hilary Ellis and arcade conservation technician Martin Reinhardt, we tackled each of those challenges. We recognized that we should avoid using the original film as much as possible, knowing that it is over 50 years old already. We can store the original film reel in one of our cold storage rooms, preserving the original film, but doing that alone would leave the game unplayable. Working with an outside motion picture film lab, we were able to replicate the original film to a new print, one that we could potentially use in the machine, allowing the game to be presented as it originally was and, more importantly, allowing it to be played. That left one more challenge, that of long-term preservation of the film's content. As part of the replication process, the original film was scanned to a digital format, which will allow the viewing of the content of the film without playing the game. Especially important as the film that is used may not be available decades from now. So how does the game actually work, especially since it doesn't have a computer to read your answer? First, the film must be placed back into the machine. Each frame of the film is one question, advancing to a new slide after an answer is given, with the film continually looping so that it never truly ends. While the large majority of the film surface contains the question and potential answers, a small strip to one side, not visible to the player, hides the correct answer. In this black strip, a clear box appears, allowing light to shine through. The location of this box determines what the correct answer is, with each location indicating a different letter, going from A, B, C, D, and E. When the projected light reaches the front of the unit, a series of photoresistor sensors can determine where the light has shined through, thus knowing if you answered the question correctly. If you do, the machine makes a sound and lights up correct. Players receive a score based on how quickly the question was answered, with the points adding up throughout, with two possible attempts to get a correct answer get 700 points or more, and you can select the Genius Test, which asks more questions. Players can select a subject, including entertainment, sports, general knowledge, and people and places, though the game has no ability to detect the question and type. Instead, the questions go in a set order following those buttons, with one question being entertainment, the next slide being sports, to general knowledge, and finally, people and places. This is where the film alignment comes in, as if it's aligned properly, the question will correspond to the expected subject category. Once set, the game will know to skip forward a certain amount of slides based on the category chosen. For instance, if the player answers an entertainment question while the film is properly aligned, and the player wants the next category to be people and places, the game will advance three positions. If the film was not aligned properly, it may still advance three positions, but the resulting question would be of the wrong subject, as the game has no way of verifying what is shown on screen. Nutting Associates made a few different versions of Computer Quiz, some with different names and colors, others in different form factors and with a variety of trivia questions. In 2017, The Strong received a donation of materials chronicling the history of Nutting Associates, including more than 130 original photographs and color slides documenting the company 
and its impact on the electronic game industry.